Hi friends. We're just going to play around a little bit tonight. Um, I talked to you last night when I painted the peonies about, um, I did a workshop a few years ago with Nancy Frank. I talked about that. And when she started out, she blocked in her flowers with that. It's fairly wide, very flexible. Um, I love these things. My catalyst. I use them sometimes for paint backgrounds. I'll cut into my foreground and paint grasses, but we're going to try just a few different flowers without any brushes, um, mostly with these knives. So what we're going to do is we'll first block in, I'm first going to do a peony and I just, you can see them over there, I just Google some images because I'm not doing anything here I'm going to sell. And we'll, we'll do a kind of a mid-tone, something not too light, something not too dark. I'm just scooping up some of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just block in what looks like the approximate shape of a, of a peony. Mix in a little more white in there. The peonies, you know, as you know, are very soft and and this image, well, last I would have I could have carried them back in tonight, you know. I am gonna look over there a bit at maybe some of mine from last night. So we kind of did a um Kind of a mid-tone block in. The idea is just show you how sometimes how little detail you need to make an object read correctly. And then, of course, we don't have a light on this. It's just an image I'm using. But assuming our light source was maybe coming from the left. And maybe going across and catching over on that side. Occasionally I'll do a painting with palette knives, only palette knives, and uh, it's fun, and boy, the cleanup is fabulous. <laughs> no brushes to wash. But you might want to darken the center a little bit more. I think it feels like a peony without very little effort, you know. Um, I'm not going to paint a rose, probably. Roses to me is, the, I think, the toughest flower to paint. But let's look at one. And I'm not going to, you know, get out a bunch of different colors and stuff probably to do this, but 
So I'm looking at a rose. I've got full-blown roses open and buds. Um, there's a pink rose. I could have just stayed with the pinks. You know, lots of options. There's a rose bud. There's a full-blown rose. Let's just look at the rose bud. And this is not a great surface that I'm working on. This is a inexpensive canvas uh, cardboard, canvas on cardboard. So not the best surface either to be playing around with. I think this works especially well if you're an impressionist like me and you don't want to get hung up in detail. I did not plan this out very well, so I'm just working with <clears throat> what I've got on my uh, palette here. But I want to get that center a little bit darker. And if I had this tone, my it would be a bit easier too. And then we could take some cad red light, maybe some yellow, get something warmer. That's wait a minute. You know, again, I'm thinking, which way is my light coming? Maybe shooting across. And again, if you had like a tone on the back too, you know, it would help. I'm just having fun here. So that's Rosebud and uh, let's look at Tulips. But you could see how, um, again, say you had a, a, a big floral arrangement going, how you could do this with a good portion of it and explain just some of them. I like doing tulips. I, I, I consider tulips a pretty easy flower to paint. I'm kind of staying all in this pink red kind of colors because that's what I've got on here. All right, let's look at the tulip. Uh, and I was saying Nancy Frank started this way, but I'll tell you, she didn't. Uh, put a whole lot more work into them after this. She left them pretty, pretty loose.
can get you know as heavy handed with them as you want. And again, if you had a tone on here, it'd make your job easier too, you know. You wouldn't have to get like full coverage up here. You could do one mark and that would that would explain it. You can't really see what I'm doing too well completely, can you? I feel like it's a little tight over here. Might open it up a little bit more. And it probably needs to be a bit darker in the inside. Doesn't this look fun though? I mean, even if you just use this to get started and block in things and Feel like a tulip? Probably so. And I've talked to you about daisies before, you know, I tend to do those as a mass and then um, explain a few of them with this method, with a knife, with this big rubber knife. I mean, that would be more difficult. But let's look at that. Okay, so, and the colors are not correct that I'm using. And with daisies, I'm, you know, are we gonna have darker ones and lighter ones and I'm just working with what I got on my palette here. This is kind of like three daisies here. And this is not going to show up great because they're basically a white flower. But usually that's, I would do the whole mass and then now I've got a traditional palette knife and I would usually come in, of course I would have them hit with a light always and I would explain like if the light's here then maybe it's catching here. I would just explain a few of them. And I know this is not reading great because we're painting very light color on a whiteboard. Um, the only other thing I might do would be to, on this center, I would probably um, shadow, put a bit of a, like a little shadow under the yellow section. Struggling to pick up pain here. I realize this isn't the best way to do these. 
But if that was on a darker background, you would be able to see, you know, and when you come in to paint your background, you know, another chance to explain what you got going on there too. Going out to paint tomorrow. I'm excited because it's a farm. I don't know if I've been to this farm or not, but they said they got cows and goats and it just sounds really fun. Well, that's kind of, it would be a lot cuter if it was against a background where you could see them. And I could come in here now with this uh, traditional palette knife, you know, and, and refine them even more, you know. That rubber knife's not as easy to work with, you know, it's big and And with tulips, like I say, you're going to have a light and a darker side. And if I was painting them, this side would be darker. I would be trying to make them read more correct. Well, I enjoyed pushing paint around. I hope you enjoyed watching. Just show you how quickly you can really create, you know, and it depends on what you're painting too. If you were, like I said, doing a big vase of, of flowers and uh, you could see how quick you can suggest them and then you can go in and refine them a lot more but it's great fun so hope you enjoyed it do a little quickie have a great night